All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Ramadi Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota, and I have uh, four different news, four different stories for you all, guys, regarding to Kylian Mbappe, Martin Odegaard, and of course, Cristiano Ronaldo. So I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna start talking about the first one, which is the the funny thing that happened in Twitter today, because as you know, Carlo Ancelotti denied the rumors, the news coming out from Edu Aguirre claiming that Ancelotti was very interested in signing to Cristiano Ronaldo back for Real Madrid. This morning, Carlo Ancelotti tweeted something like this. I recognize he's a legend, but we are not, I'm not interested at all in signing Cristiano Ronaldo. We are looking to the future. We are looking ahead or whatever you want to translate. Okay, so once he denied the rumors, all of a sudden a comment popped up from Georgina Rodriguez. For all those of you who don't know who is Georgina or Georgina Rodriguez is the Cristiano Ronaldo's girlfriend who apparently, I don't know how to say this, but he, she apparently laughed off, she laughed her butt off for the things that Carlo Ancelotti said for this denial of Carlo Ancelotti. And in my opinion, this is because she really knows that Carlo Ancelotti has been in close contact to Cristiano Ronaldo and all the things Edu Aguirre claimed last night in El Chiringuito. Of course, it was very true and she was essentially making fun of the things that Carlo Ancelotti said in Twitter because she also really knows what happened between Cristiano Ronaldo and Carlo Ancelotti and she's aware that Carlo Ancelotti has been trying to sign Cristiano Ronaldo for Real Madrid. So what happened here? I mean, what is my take on this thing? Okay, my opinion is next. Carlo Ancelotti probably was in close contact and potentially made a call to Cristiano Ronaldo to know what is going on. I mean, how is he doing? Things like that. And he probably tried to test the waters in Cristiano Ronaldo in order for him to figure if Cristiano Ronaldo might be willing to get back to Real Madrid. But the problem is, Carlo Ancelotti was not counting on the possibility for Edu Aguirre to tell every single thing, because as you know, Edu Aguirre and Cristiano Ronaldo are very close friends, and of course, every single thing that can happen to Cristiano Ronaldo, Edu Aguirre will be the first one in knowing that, right? So once Edu Aguirre got the information, all the way from Cristiano Ronaldo, in my opinion, he came up to El Chiringuito to unveil all this thing with Carlo Ancelotti and Cristiano Ronaldo. So Carlo Ancelotti might be concerned about how Florentino Perez would take this, like in the right way, in the wrong way. He might become very upset to, uh, towards uh, Carlo Ancelotti. He might be not. I mean, just, he, just because he doesn't really know how is Florentino Perez going to handle this thing? That's why he came out with a Twitter, with a tweet saying that he didn't try at all to sign Cristiano Ronaldo for Real Madrid. So in my opinion, it happened. Because of course, as you know, Georgina and Edu Aguirre and Cristiano Ronaldo are very good friends. And of course, Edu Aguirre will never say something false or fake regarding to Cristiano Ronaldo or something derogatory or that can place in a bad situation, in a wrong situation to Cristiano Ronaldo because they are very good friends. So that's why there's no reason for me to think that Carlo Ancelotti uh, didn't try anything. To me, he tried. To me, he tried something. He probably made a call or another kind of, you know, strategy to figure what is going on with Cristiano Ronaldo, how are the things going for Cristiano Ronaldo in Juventus, things like that. But I don't know, man, this is kind of weird because she was like, ha 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 ha, you know, in Twitter, trying to make him fun of the uh, statement from Carlo Ancelotti. So let's see what happens. So now let's move through and let's keep talking about Martin Odegaard. And the reason for that is because according to some reports in England, some people from Real Madrid are right now in England negotiating uh, with people from Arsenal for Martin Odegaard. So it is very true that the Norwegian player is closer than ever to leave Real Madrid 
and Real Madrid is closer than ever to get a done deal with Martin Odegaard, which is to me something really sad because as you can imagine, with all the time, with all the money we have invested in this player, for him to quit now, it is a completely waste of time and money. So it is a failure, you know, political, I mean, all this kind of signing policy has failed completely because apparently some players, when they're super young, they don't really understand what are they getting, what are they getting into, you know? So they don't really know what Real Madrid is all about. And once they get into Real Madrid and they realize how hard and how difficult it is to fight for a spot in Real Madrid, they feel frustrated, they go out on loan, and then when they come back, they realize they are not, they are not the chosen one and the chosen ones or whatever you want to call it. I mean, they're not special at all. And although they have some abilities and skills and talent and all the stuff to be in Real Madrid, it doesn't mean though that they are going to play every single weekend because there are more competition, more good players and more options per position for the coach of Real Madrid, in this case, Carlo Ancelotti. So that's what I'm thinking that has happened to Martin Odegaard and his frustration and his failure in Real Madrid. So now let's move through and let's keep talking about something Fabrizio Romano this um, unveiled one hour ago, claiming that the next one in the renewal contract situation in Real Madrid, it's going to be Fede Valverde. Fede Valverde will be the next player of Real Madrid to renew his contract until 2025, which is of course very happy news for Los Madridistas because if there is one player who I really like the most in Real Madrid for different reasons, that one, that person, that player is Fede Valverde. He's a very humble guy, he's a very quiet guy, he's a kind of guy who just try to work hard as hard as possible as much as he can to succeed in Real Madrid. So when he's when he has to stay on the bench, I mean, he says nothing, he just stay on the bench. When he has to play though, then he plays and he plays really well. And the other day we saw it. I mean, that run when he went running upwards in uh, against Alaves and that dribble with a super long pass that passed to himself all around, you know, getting the ball around the defender, it was essentially what he normally does every single weekend in Real Madrid. So that's why I really love this guy. I really love this player and I'm so happy to hear that he will renew his contract with Real Madrid because he's one of the most outstanding players in Real Madrid right now and you can rely on him every single time you need a one, you need to win a game or something, you really can rely on Fede Valverde for the midfield of Real Madrid. So to me, it is a very good news to have him in the squad for the next four years. And now let's keep moving forward and let's talk about the latest news we have regarding to Kylian Mbappe because this is coming out from Radio Monte Carlo, which claims that Real Madrid is preparing a super mediatic offer for Kylian Mbappe, but just for a specific reason. And that reason is, in case Kylian Mbappe stays, remains in PSG, Real Madrid will have an excuse ahead of his own fans and supporters to say, hey, we tried, we tried our best, we put a lot of money on the table, but it was rejected, it was refused by PSG. So we did everything we got to sign Kylian Mbappe in, but we couldn't. So anybody can blame Real Madrid board members for not having, for not getting Kylian Mbappe signing for Real Madrid. So that is the thesis that Radio Monte Carlo is launching to everybody, for everybody to think that Real Madrid will put every single euro on the table to sign Kylian Mbappe. And of course, this is something that we knew up front when we were told that Real Madrid is willing to throw about 150 million on the table to sign Kylian Mbappe. I mean, some people is starting to hesitate about Kylian Mbappe and his possible arrival to Real Madrid this year because they are seeing that maybe it's not a bluff. Maybe it is true that PSG and all the presidents of PSG and all the stuff 
are really willing to retain Kylian Mbappe in the squad. And maybe it's not a joke, maybe it's not a bluff, and maybe they might try their best to retain Kylian Mbappe, whatever it takes. So that's why now a lot of people out there are scared, are concerned, and they don't really know what is going to happen. Whatever it is, guys, I will let you know. I will keep you posted because today I think that we might know, we might learn, we might, I don't know, we might know something else regarding to Kylian Mbappe. I don't know when the meeting is going to happen between Akel Aifi and Mbappe. Maybe it has happened already, but just in case I know something, I learn something, I will let you know. So now let me know your thoughts about that. Just comment in the section below and of course subscribe to my channel, Ramadi Hub.